Dear children, life today is very fast paced. We are running along without any reason and we keep moving and moving and we are afraid of dying yet we don't sit, sit back in silence. Today the poet Today the poem that we have tells us about the importance of introspection and silence and how we have lost our humanity in this race to nothing. The poem is Keeping Quiet by Pablo Neruda. Pablo Neruda was a very active Chilean in his political and literary arena of his country. He has also won the Nobel Prize in 1971, the Nobel Prize for Literature. This poem is a call for introspection for all human beings. Divided on the basis of race, language, countries, national, nationalities and is an exercise in meditation. The poet tells us to meditate, introspect of how we are moving on without any realization of the destruction that we are causing. Let's do the summary of the poem first. The poet asks the reader or the general world to keep quiet, become quiet on the count of a twelve. He says, now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still. For once on the face of earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. He says that we should all stop, not speak in any language, keep quiet. He says we should not move about much and keep still. That is, he is telling us to meditate on the count of 12. Then he says, it would be an exotic moment, without rush, without engines, we would all be together in a sudden strangeness. He says, the moment thus created with that silence on the count of 12 will be a beautiful moment where there will be no rush, no noises of engines and people moving around and the humanity will be bound with a strange togetherness, a sudden strange relationship of humanity. It has become a strange relationship for us because we have divided ourselves within various parameters. Then he says, the fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. He says, once we are quiet, we are introspecting, we will not be hurting anyone like the fishermen in the sea. It's a symbol that we will not be hurting each other and not endangering our lives. And he also says, the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. That is, we will look at our hands and see how much damage we are causing to ourselves. Then he goes on to say, those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory with no survivors, would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing. He says, and in that moment of silence, there will be also people who have been preparing for war, waging wars on people, using weapons and chemicals to kill people, they will shed all that and wear clean clothes and sit in the sun or walk about in the sun with the brothers, that is the human race and there will be a sense of togetherness. In the shade of sun, in the shade of humanity, of brotherly feelings. Then he goes on, he says, what I want should not be confused with total inactivity. He says, I am not telling you to be inactive, not do anything, not make any activity. Life is what is it about? Life will go on, he says. I want no truck with death and I want, don't want you to associate this silence with death, with doing nothing. He says, he, he, if we were not so single-minded and about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing, perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death. He says, if we are able to focus for one minute, for one moment on this silence, we are, we'll be able to introspect and fight with our isolation and loneliness. We can probably rid ourselves of this and the fear of death. He says, we'll be better, better able to understand each other and ourselves. Then he says, Perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive. He says perhaps we can learn from the earth where the cycle of life goes on. Everything which is dead later proves to be alive, later comes back alive. And he says that now I'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and I will go. He says now I'll count up to 12, you wait for that moment, be silent, introspect and he will leave. Now. This poem celebrates the necessity of introspection and 
the importance of silence which creates a moment of peace in which we can better understand ourselves our humanity and our unity with each other the title is very appropriate because he suggests that by keeping quiet we may be able to understand humanity better